Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa Bug Fitness and Yoga. And one of my YouTube subscribers, give me a shout out to Farmer Betty Boop, said that she would like for me to record a video on how to measure flexion, knee flexion, with the Angle Meter app. So I thought this is a great idea because when you download Angle Meter, there's no instructions and it's really not that easy to figure out how to use. I just had to mess around with it and finally figure it out. So if you want to download Angle Meter, you're going to go to the Apple Store for iPhone or Google Play for an Android and download Angle Meter. So it looks like this. It's a little protractor. Once you download that, and click to open it and it's free by the way unless you buy the paid version and uh, once you open it it's going to look like this and unfortunately the lighting's not really good to show you what all these dots look like so i'll tell you what each one of them is for so if we start with the bottom line this first dot to the bottom left is a picture so you are going to use this first dot if you have a picture on your phone already of your knee so that you can measure the flexion. The second dot from the left there is a camera. So if you're going to take a picture of your flexion while you're in the app, you're going to use that button. If you do, you'll press that button to open the camera and you'll also press that button to take the picture. But I really wouldn't advise doing that. You know, it, it's really best if you take a picture with your phone and have somebody else do it for you. Because really, it's hard to hold your arm out and take a picture of your own knee bending because you want to get the entire leg from the hip through the knee all the way down to the ankle. So have someone else take that picture for you. Okay, so the third button over here is a trash can. That's where if you make a mistake, you're just going to delete the picture. And then the last one there is the download button. So once you've done everything you want to do to measure your flexion, you're going to press that button to store it to your phone. And just a disclaimer, when you press that, you're going to get an ad. It's just unless you want to buy the paid version, that's kind of how it goes. You got to get around an ad and it's usually to try to sell you a game or something. Okay, so let's go to this line of dots here. The top one, no ads. Wow, if you want to pay for this app, that's where you go. You push the no ad button, um, but I'm not doing that. Okay, the next button down is a plus sign. The plus sign is to put the measuring device on to your picture once you've uploaded it to your phone or taken a picture with the camera. The second one is a minus sign. That's to take the measuring tool off the picture if you want to maybe start over. The fourth one down is two arrows going around in a circle. That means flip the measuring tool the opposite direction that it's measuring. And I'll tell you about that in a second. And then the bottom one, the last one is the settings button. You can just go in there and play with it and you can decide what color you want the measuring tool and that kind of thing, just to make it darker or wider, whatever, for just your own, own use. So what I have done is I have a picture on my phone that I took a few months ago when I was working on flexion. So what I'm gonna do is pull up that picture and put it here on the angle meter device. So I'm gonna push this lowest button down here to the left, the picture button. Once I do that, it's gonna bring up all the pictures that are on my phone. So I have to scroll down and find the one that I took. Actually, um, Dave took it for me. So there's a picture a few months ago. I'm laying on the couch. I'm working on my flexion. My left knee is the surgical knee. It's the closest one toward the camera. And you can see there's a great view of the hip, the knee, all the way down to the ankle. That's what you've got to have. Okay, so once we have the picture on here, then we want to go to the plus button, which is, get the right hand here plus button, the second one from the top. So we're going to hit the plus button. When you do, it's going to put the measuring tool right onto your picture. And what it looks like 
is it's three white buttons that are hooked together with a yellow line and then an arc that's yellow going up and around. In settings is where you can change the color of the line. Maybe I should have set it to black, don't you think? Just to make it a little bit more obvious. So when you get three buttons, what you're going to do with those is dragging your finger, you're gonna grab the middle button and pull it right up to the center of your knee. So let's do that. Dragging the middle button up to the center of the knee. So maybe you can see it there. I drag it all the way up to the knee there. Then one of the other buttons, you're going to drag it to your ankle bone. That's the marker you're looking for. You know, that bone that sticks out of your ankle. So I'm going to drag that down to the ankle bone there. And it's not exact. You know, you're just going to do the best as you can to find these markers. And then the last button there is going to go down to your hip socket where the femur or your leg bone enters the acetabulum, which is your hip socket, not your ass, your acetabulum. Okay, I know I like to add a little humor. So I'm going to drag that down to the acetabulum. Again, just making it as close as I can. And so that's going to give us the angle of bend. And then we've got this little yellow arc that's going across the top. And that arc says 31330. That means out of 360 degrees, all the way around is 313 degrees. Well, I don't want to deal with that. So I want to deal with the little small number that's in the angle. So remember the button over here, the fourth one down that's got those two circular arrows? I'm going to tap that. When I do, it's going to flip my arc. So it's now measuring the inside of the bend, not the outside of the bend. So now that number is 45. Okay, so now I've got that number 45. That's not my flexion. That would be terrible. <laughs> what we have to do with that number is we have to take 180, which is a straight line, and we have to subtract that number. So 180 minus 45 is 135, right? Is that right? Yeah, 180 minus 45 is 135. So that's going to be my flexion, 135 degrees. Not too bad. I can't remember that was maybe at four months post-op or something. So 135 degrees is what I've got. Now you wanna save this to your phone, right? So what you're gonna do is hit the this button here it's the download button. Once you hit that, unfortunately, you're going to get an ad. Dang it. So you're going to have to pass through the ads trying to sell me Sudoku or something. <laughs> so uh, sorry for the ad unless you want to pay for it. You got to wait till the ad runs through and then you can store that picture to your phone, share it on social media, share it to me on YouTube. Let me know how your flexion's doing and uh, share your share it with your loved ones too. So that is how to use the Angle Meter app. Let me know if that was a good enough explanation, if you're able to try and use it. Send me a message there um, below on my YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends who've had total knee replacement or maybe scheduling it in the future to join my page, to subscribe to my page or my channel because I have several videos on getting through total knee replacement and I'm going to be adding a few more in the future. I've also got workout videos before and after my total knee replacement like yoga and Pilates and strength training. So check those out as well. It's all free. Anyway, thanks for joining me, everybody. Thank you, Farm Farmer Betty Boop, for requesting that I film this video. Let me know what you think about it and I'll see you next time, everybody. Stay strong, knee warriors. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.